Hello guys and welcome to my design pattern series. Today we're gonna talk about the factory method design pattern. Before we dive into the code, let me describe you the problem we're gonna face in this episode. Suppose you're building an app which has some kind of a map in it and this map uh, is supposed to show some kind of layers, some kind of geometries on the map uh, and you're supposed to write uh, a list like um, layers control on the map which can control the visibility of each layer individually and the visibility of all the layers. I'm not gonna implement the UI of the problem, just uh, show you an example of the problem and the logic behind it to demonstrate the factory method design pattern. So let's start. Before we implement the layers control, let's just implement the basic interfaces and classes we need to, do, to have uh, in order to implement our list. So uh, let's create some interface. Interface, I got interface shape, which will be a basic shape for uh, the layer to have. It will have a list of shapes. Uh, I will have some kind of an interface of our map, which will have the show method of a shape, and we'll have the hide method for a shape, individual shape. Here we can see that the map is actually conflicting with another map declaration uh, so let me just uh, export those and by exporting I'm uh, making this a module uh, which isolates all the interfaces and classes and stuff inside this uh, file to a different scope, to its uh, own scope. Uh, if you don't really understand what I mean you can watch uh, the modules episode, I've added a link uh, and you can click the button over uh, some left or right corner uh, and uh, watch it. So we have a map interface, a shape interface <coughs> and let's have a class layer which will receive the map and the name of the layer. Okay and the list of shapes. And let's store them. Private, private, private. Okay. And we'll have for single layer a method show which will do these shapes for each this map <coughs> show the shape sorry yeah and hide these shapes for each this map What I did here basically is uh, save the uh, shapes for a single layer uh, which can have multiple shapes in it and expose the show and the hide methods for the layer uh, and it simply enumerates the shapes here you can see it enumerates the shapes and for each shape it shows it on a map or hides on the map. Uh, for now uh, we don't have anything uh, very very uh, sophisticated for now uh, so let's close, close those in order for you to see what I'm going to do next. Now suppose the layers list is gonna receive the layers as a list of, uh, I don't know, of uh, layer names, a list of strings, and we'll have some kind of service uh, which uh, uh, fetches the shapes by the, uh, by the layer name. So let's create an interface for this as well. Layers service. And it will have, uh, I don't know, fetch items, layer name, and it will receive, uh, return a promise of shapes. So now when we have the, all the necessary parts for the layer list to be implemented, let's implement it. But first, before I implement it with the factory method, I'm going to show you the naive way to implement it. So let's implement it. So, 
So let's create a class for our layers list. And it will of course have a constructor. And what we need to, to have here. So we'll need to receive the names, which will be an array of strings. We need to receive the layers service. Okay, and for now let's let's suppose that's all we need. And uh, what we're gonna do here is inside actually a constructor, we're gonna uh, use those to fetch all our information. Uh, okay, so let's start. What we're gonna do is we're gonna iterate the layer names. And for each name, we're gonna use the layer service. We're gonna fetch the items. Okay, let's rename it to something else. Fetch shapes. And after we're fetching the shapes, we'll, we're gonna have here shapes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a layer for the shapes. So, okay, let's do it. It's gonna, it's create. It's becoming too complicated to see in one uh, screen. So let's extract it to some kind of methods. Uh, 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 uh. So let's create a method here. We'll call it this. Uh, 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 initialize layer with the name private initialize layer layer name string void what I'm doing wrong here okay initialize layer okay let's rename it with the convention of underscore okay so now I'm having the layer service fetching the shapes for the name and after I'm fetching the shapes I'm gonna create a new layer okay now I have I need to have a some kind of map okay for the layer so I'm gonna receive it over here private map map because the layer needs our map so I'm passing it the map the name which is layer name and the shapes after I created the layer um, I need to do some kind of logic of uh, showing the layer or not showing it so uh, I have a layer here so first of all I'm gonna save in some kind of list private uh, layers layer I'm gonna initialize it here initialize it here this layers and I'm gonna push it this layers push layer now suppose we're having some kind of logic here I'm not I don't, I don't want to write it here but uh, because it takes some time for the service to fetch the shapes, uh, we need to make sure the uh, layer, when it is fetched, it is shown or hidden, depending on the state of the layers list. So, for instance, if we are fetching some kind of layers and before they're returned, uh, the layer uh, list is hiding all the layers, we need to hide this, this layer as well uh, using the layer.hide method. And if uh, the layers are shown, we need to do layer.show. Okay, so I'm not going to implement this logic. Uh, it's unnecessary for the example here. So uh, let's implement our uh, show all and show and hide all methods. Show all will be simply uh, these layers for each 
show and hide all will be simply these layers for each height. So let's look at the layers list implementation and uh, I'll pinpoint some of the issues uh, we're having here. So first uh, issue we're having here is uh, you've probably noticed it uh, when I tried to initialize to, cr to create our layer here I needed to supply the layer uh, some kind of map so I needed the layers list to receive the map in the, in the constructor simply to create a simple layer uh, and you can see that the layer list doesn't even use the map itself it simply passes it to another uh, object it uses so we're passing another dependency to the layers list without it needing it. One more issue we are having here with the dependencies we are uh, hiding some dependencies of the layers list. Uh, for when you look at the uh, dependencies of some kind of class of an, or interface you are looking at uh, properties, uh, maybe members and con the constructor of the uh, class. So if you look uh, here okay, and the public methods you don't see the dependency of the layer class. Uh, it is hidden in the middle of the logic of uh, some private method. What it means is the layers list is dependent on some other class and it doesn't show us. This can lead to problems such as classes doing more stuff than they need to do. In this case, the layers list is responsible both for showing and hiding all the layers in the map and for initializing the layers themselves for knowing how to create them. A few more issues with this code is suppose you want to write a log every time a layer is shown or hidden so what you'll need to do is pass some kind of log here in the constructor of the layer and log the uh, action in the hide and show methods but in order to do it you'll need to pass the logger already here too uh, and for this to happen you'll need to receive the logger in the layers list over here which means you're adding another dependency to the layers list uh, without it needing it just to satisfy the layer constructor uh, and you can imagine uh, if the layers list needing it uh, the object who's holding the layers list will also need it and so on and the list of dependencies will go on and on and on and uh, each object will receive many dependencies it doesn't need to receive. Another issue we are having here is uh, we are using a specific interface of the map. A map which uses the show and hide um, methods and which receives a, a specific type of shape. Uh, but uh, suppose we want to use the same layers list with different uh, maps which have different API. So it is difficult to do here uh, because uh, the implementation of the layer class will be different in, uh, in uh, every implementation. And the map will be different as well. By receiving the map in the constructor and creating the specific layer of the map, uh, you're constraining yourself to the implementation of the map itself. Another issue with this type of code is that writing tests for this code is uh, going to be uh, not very pleasant because for example if you want to test the show all method uh, you'll need to check uh, that the show method is calling for each layer but because you're not controlling the creation of the layers uh, you don't have uh, the actual object of the layers uh, and the layers themselves are private so you don't have access to them, you shouldn't use this property because it's private in the tests. So you'll need to uh, create some kind of a mock over the map interface and check uh, that the uh, function show and hide is called for each shape of the map. It's gonna be difficult to write tests to, to check the creation of a sim single layer, uh, to check it receives the layer name it needs with the uh, needed uh, shapes which return from the layer service 
and it's not going to be pleasant. Now, after showing you all those issues, I'm going to show you a pretty simple solution to all of them. Uh, the solution is uh, the name of our episode, uh, which is the factory method pattern. Uh, so, what factory method is, it's simply a method for creating stuff. So, let's create a factory method for our layer. Let's create it as an interface, which will be a layer factory, and it will be in a method which receives the name of the layer and the shapes and returns a layer. So every method that implements this interface will be actually uh, our layer factor. So how can you implement it? Uh, so the simplest way is create factory method should be our layer factory and it will receive again a name shapes and what, will, what will it will do it will create a layer it will pass it some kind of map we'll see in a second what map it is a name and the shapes so what we're missing here and it will return it the only thing that we're missing here is our map and what we can do we can create our map as a variable uh, receive it from somewhere uh, or initialize it, initialize it here uh, and we'll use the closure let's use it like this I don't know with the show and the hide sorry okay let's make it show and hide method <coughs> so we, init we initialize the map here but we can create actual map here I don't know whatever we want and we, we are using the closure to pass the map to the layer another way we can do it is create it by creating I'm not gonna implement it but uh, we can do it by creating a, a method which receives all the needed stuff for the layer and create it and creates it uh, and we can bind it to an instant of a map uh, using the bind syntax of the functions now when we have here the layer factory we can simply replace the map with the factory method let's call it layer factory Le your factory here and now, instead of creating the new layer like this, we're gonna use the layer factory like this. Okay, and the code stays almost the same. Now, how it solves all our issues? Now we remove the dependency of creating the uh, layer ourselves, and we're simply responsible for showing or hiding the layers. Moreover, if we're gonna use uh, some kind of log, to log the uh, show and hide of simple layer we're gonna create it over here, pass it over here and our layers list is not gonna change one more thing that we can do here is uh, changing the API of the map we're using because uh, in the layers list there is no dependency of the uh, API of the map and passing it and uh, using the specific interface of the map and uh, using specific uh, instance of a layer all we need to do is ensure that the layer has the, uh, the show and the hide methods and that's it. We can actually uh, create now instead of a class layer we can change it to the interface of a layer and uh, we won't be uh, affected by it at all. So we can use the same code, the same layers list to use it in different uh, maps APIs. And finally, we can uh, much easily test this code. So in order to test whether we are creating a layer with the uh, corresponding name and shapes, all we need to do is mock the layer factory and check the uh, call to this method with the specific layer name and shapes. Uh, and uh, if we return from this layer factory a mock of a layer, we can very simply check 
whether the show all is calling the show or the hide methods uh, respectfully. If you have watched an episode about the factory method design pattern, let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. You can watch more design pattern videos by clicking over here or trust YouTube to know what you really like and click over here. If you want to watch other code related videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you later on Pro Marks.